the OSPF Navy Zip is up now for some crazy reason. We've got a full with a BDR, so the other guy must be the DR. Let's just have a look at that. So we've got an OSPF tech video as well, you guys can have a look at that. So show IP um, OSPF neighbor. Let's have a look at this. Full, yeah, so with the DR, so R2 is the DR, <coughs> R1 the BDR. Um, hopefully they're exchanging full routing table now, so let's have a look at that. Show OSPF database. Here's the OSPF database. These are the routes that I've learned, which is uh, not a lot. I want to know the uh, the 24 one really, don't I? So let's get rid of all that debug information. Uh, back to the story. So we we had a, we had an IP we had a static IP route before, and uh, now we've got a uh, OSPF learned route for 24110 slash 24 uh, with uh, the next hop of 123.112, which is R2s. It's the uh, closest interface to us, and now low. There is the BTP route again valid now because we can see uh, a route to 241112 via via this via this OSPF learn network here. So so there you go. So we've 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 done um, we've done we've done eBGP relationship here. We've done an iBGP relationship here. We found that the next hop needed to be uh, uh, connectable. Connected. We need to be able to see the uh, the next hop learn next hop. And when R4 injected its 150.1.1.0 network into R2, which was then advertised to R1, R1 was getting R4's um, IP address as the next hop. And because R1 doesn't know how to see R4's IP address, um, the route, even though it was in the BGP topology table, um, it wasn't in the IP routing table. So to fix that, we configured next hop self on R2 to change the next hop address uh, provided by R4 um, into R2's IP address and now R1 knows how to see R2 because they're connected on this LAN link here so then the route was valid in the uh, rib table and therefore was allowed into the uh, IP routing table then we took off the next hop cell from R2 so we were back to where we were R1 was learning um, in um, IBG uh, Roots BGP routes from R4 with R4's next hop, and R1 doesn't know to see R4's next hop, so it wasn't allowed into the routing table. So to uh, to, ch to change that uh, um, state, we put in a static route. So we put a static route from R1 so that it could see R4's uh, interface here via R2, and then the uh, the route the next hop could be could be uh, found and then it was allowed into the routing table and then again just just now we configured OSPF on R2 uh, on the inside and outside interfaces to allow the network uh, that's connected between R2 and R4 to be injected into the OSPF area here which R1 learned so uh, once R1 had the OSPF network in uh, for between R2 and R4 it could then uh, resolve the uh, the next hop and then it could put it into the routing table so uh, so there we go, just very basic stuff, uh, EBGP, IGP, IBGP, one route learned, um, and we took you through some next top stuff. So join us next time for the, uh, for the continuation of this BGP uh, tech video. Thank you for your attention.